Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil. This is second video for PHP project and in this video we will learn that how we can set up our PHP project. So first of all we will uh, install and download XAMPP because XAMPP is a complete package for PHP development. It has the PHP, MySQL and a local server Apache also. So this will provide a complete environment for PHP development and for our project we will create our first file which is index.php after that we will create a CSS file also and we will write some code in PHP and CSS file and we will check that this is working fine on browser also. Before starting with this video I want to share some information with you. If you are looking to purchase domain name or hosting then you can purchase it with the domain tracer because this is the most affordable SSD Linux hosting right. Even when we are purchasing laptop computers and disks so we always looking for ssd disk because they are really fast for uh, data right same thing with happen with the hosting also so if the hostings have ssd disk so this is obviously fast and domain risk domain risk are actually providing that and uh, they will activate your hosting within 60 seconds also so what are you waiting for just go for it right now let's uh, come back to your project so first of all i am just uh, uh, opening the XAMPP website on our browser. Let's search the XAMPP even uh, on Chrome and uh, you can just click on a first link. After that you have option to select the XAMPP for uh, Windows, Linux or Mac OS right. So let's download for Windows. So the size for XAMPP is around 17, uh, 157 MB. So I am actually cancelling it because I already downloaded the file so that we can save the time right. Here you can see that on a download right here. So I am just clicking on it and installing it right and uh, it will ask some options like uh, in which drive or which folder you want to save it and some terms and conditions and all and it will ask you to select the options like uh, what options you want to select like PHP and uh, Perl and MySQL and all right. So here you can see that it will ask me for the option. So by default I will recommend you that just select for the all options because at a beginner level we don't need to change anything. And if you want to change then you can change it right. So now let's download them or uh, let's install them. And you don't need to just uh, more information for that because it will open the site for uh, Bitnami .com on a browser. So let's skip it and install it. So now it will take some time so that uh, we can save the time. I am just going to pause this video and whenever this is installed I will come back to you. So ab, uh, so XAMPP is installed now so and it will ask that uh, do you want to start the control panel now so you can just finish it and uh, if you want to start it currently now then you can just make it checked right and uh, click on it. Now you can see that you have a panel for the complete XAMPP and uh, here you have the option for Apache, MySQL and all. So firstly you, you just need a Apache server you don't need MySQL and all if you want to connect with the database then you just need MySQL also and now let's see where this is installed. So just go to the C drive then XAMPP here and here you will find that uh, this is the completely installed right. So now let's how we can check that this is installed or not just go to the browser and just write here localhost without any uh, or like slash and all and it will just redirect you to the dashboard option and uh, it will tell you uh, what you have installed and uh, something updates and all right. So uh, now we just uh, done with the XAMPP. So now let's start with the project. So for that you just need to go inside the HT talks and let's create a folder. So let's say my project name or folder name is project and let's open our, this folder inside our uh, code editor. So I will actually use uh, Visual Studio code. So I'm putting here code dot command and it will open this project folder inside visual studio code and now for a moment there is a no file so I am creating a two files one is index dot php and uh, second one is uh, let me just created it all right second one is styles dot css right and let's let's some add some text inside it so let me add here html5 tags and we can remove these meta tags we don't need for a moment and simply put here php basic project. Alright 
after that what we can do uh, let me add here one more h1 tag right and put here project setup and uh, let's close this h1 tag also and we can check it on a browser also again so let me put here uh, h localhost project and this is working fine great so now let's connect uh, our CSS file with it so inside the head section just put here a link tag and put here rel which is relation so we can put here style sheet and href and here we can provide here link so just put here styles dot css and uh, now let's check this thing on a browser so how we can check that this is connected or not you can just simply click on it so if this is opening the file that means everything is working fine and let's add here uh, some code also like h1 tag put some colors and you can put here like sky blue or something and let's check this is working fine or not so let's come back here and refresh it so here you can see that the color for this this text is actually changed so that's all for this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box and in next video we will create our home page navigation menus and uh, other things also so bye bye take care